I'm Addison. And I'm Anthony. And this is Talking with Addison. Yay! Hey, Anthony. Hey, Addie. How's it going? Eh. It's been kind of a... I don't know. Today's been weird. Like, nothing really fit. Are you trying on clothes? You know, I usually think of you as dumb. But then you say something like that, and I'm wondering, how much lower can you go? How much dumber can you sound? Well, Addison, I'm glad you have nice warm feelings about me. Oh, I do. But there's a bunch of bad ones, too. I mean, I still love you, though. So, you know, just think of it as a gentle ribbing, only without the gentle part. Mm. Puppy? Yeah? What do you want to talk about today? Eh. We could talk about outer space. Ooh. Outer space. That's a cool story. Let's take some calls about outer space. What do you think, puppy? Yeah, but they can't be too weird. I mean, you have some weird callers sometimes. I know. Oh, you can't have those callers. We have to screen better. I know. But but I guess we, we've got a call coming in. Let's try it. Hi, Addison. Hi, Anthony. I have a question for Anthony. How does it feel to be old enough to know that Pluto was a real planet, not a fake planet, like you want to say, but it was it was a real planet to you. And then they, well, they did the right thing and called it the dwarf planet. Hey, 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 it is still a planet. We don't, we don't just break up with pieces of our family because someone says that it's not the right size. No, no, it is family. Pluto is one of us. It is one of the nine. Not part of the eight as these globalist propagandists want to talk about. Anthony, you're old. You should probably get your eyes checked. I just got my eyes checked. Um, have you checked those other things? Okay, well, this is going to turn bad for me and Addison. Um... So, uh, let's take another call. Hey, I live out in the middle of nowhere, and I mean nowhere. There is nothing around for like a hundred miles, gasoline or grocery stores or whatever. And because of that, I get to see, I get to see out of space without all the, the light bleeds. So... I don't know if I have a, a question. I just want to let you know that it looks amazing. I have seen time where I've seen stars explode because it's so perfect out here. You should come out here and check it out. Call me and I can give you the address. It's 555-4077. Thanks. Huh. And I don't... I think we should go. Maybe. Except for the being buried out in the desert kind of thing that I worry about. Yeah. I and mean, the guy's probably fine. Like, there's nothing wrong. The guy sounded like he was fine. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we'll call him. Yeah, maybe. Hey, you know what we should do now? What's that? We should take a break. So, uh... Let's take a break, and we'll come back and we'll take some more calls. Okay. Hi, folks. Yosemite Sam here, and I got a bit of a dilemma. My in-laws are coming into town. I don't know where to take them. Luckily, my good friends over at Peyton Drink do. Whew, have you ever wanted to just take a canvas and some paint to it and make a pretty little picture? Now, have you ever wanted to do that? While drinking a little alcohol, mm, you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying. Well, here's just the place. My friend Jennifer and Martha over at the 
the paint and sip, they know exactly what they want. What the, what you want. They know what you want. I think I've been drinking a little too much before this commercial. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. They'll give you a canvas. They'll give you some paints and an apron. All you have to do is bring yourself and a nice little libation. Mm. Don't get too rowdy, though. This isn't, this isn't some honky-tonk. This is a nice, respectable place. But you can walk out of there or stumble out of there, whatever, with a nice painting of a tree. Just a happy little tree. Oh, that's something else. Sorry. Sorry, it's someone else. But, yeah. So, Martha and Jennifer with the paint and drink. Paint and sip, paint and drink. There's one of those. I'm like I said, I've been drinking a little before this had. But, but, you know, make sure to give them a call and they'll hook you up. Folks, do you know what the number one ailment is that troubles men and women over 40? No, it's not arthritis, and it's not high blood pressure either. It's chronic constipation, something most people don't want to talk about. You probably don't either. I don't really want to talk about it. That's why I'm here to tell you one word, though. Colax. The gentle laxative that works overnight to loosen up t tense areas and your lower abdomen, naturally, without drugs. Colax uses a special patented ingredient. Hydrogenated, how hard to say, hydrogenated cellulose that gets you moving fast, but not too fast. You don't need to talk about what worries you, and you don't have to, and you know one word. Colax, Colax, Colax. Your druggist has it. Just ask them. Hey, you, have you gotten your flu shot? You should go get your flu shot today. So you don't get sick, you don't get your mama sick, you don't get her mother sick, you don't want to get sick, they don't want to get sick, get your flu shot today. I'm Addison. And I'm Anthony. And this is Talking with Addison, yay! Anthony, do you know how much I love you? I've got a pretty good idea. Well, here's how much I love you. Not only did I turn off the oven for you, I didn't tell Mommy that you screwed up. Oops. Thank you? You're welcome. Because you looked along in the morning, you were going to be gone all day. Think about the house fire. Yeah. Let's just leave it between me and you. Mommy doesn't need to know. In fact, how about we just edit this out? No, we can't edit it out. We don't know how to edit, remember? Oh, yeah. Well, we'll work on that. So, anyway. Um, Puppy, one of my favorite uh, characters of a Star Trek film is called V'ger. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Yeah, it's for Voyager, the the satellite thing that flew, it's still flying or whatever. Um, yeah, that was cool. We could have someone call about that if they have any questions about it. Oh, wait, we got a call coming in now, so uh, let's take this line. You don't have to take lines, you know. People don't care about line one or line 100 or just answer the lead and phone. Okay. Ah! I heard about that record on the, the Voyager thing, and, you know, I, I kind of wonder why they, they chose... Glenn Gould, and there were plenty of other great pianists, but no, they had to pick Glenn Gould, who's, who's fine, a really good hummer, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, everything else is fine too, and space, and yeah, yeah, but Glenn Gould is not that, he's a hack. He's a Canadian hack. Should never let him get out of, get out of McGill. I think he went to McGill. Anyway, he's a hack. Well. I'm, I'm glad to know that people have opinions about Glenn Gould still. You know, is he a genius? Is he a hack? It's up to you to decide. I think he is a good hummer, though. I will say that. Um, and Anthony, this guy is just loony tuned. Loony tuned. I mean, I can say it in more than three syllables. I'll try it. Loony tuned. Well, we know how you feel. Yeah. I think we take one more call, and then we call it for the night. I know it's kind of a shorter show, but 
These people are just weird. Hello, Earthlings. I am 473 of the planet Nextoid 4. I want you to know we've been listening to your radio broadcasts. We've also been trading tapes of them. Our planet loves them. Ha ha ha. Keep up the good work. Well, I'm glad to know that we don't just have an international audience, but also an intergalactic. I'm curious though that they're still using tapes. Because they say they trade tapes for the show, so that means that perhaps the technology isn't as uh, state of the art. Or maybe it is, and tapes are like digital, they mean something else. So, anyway. Um, but, you know, thanks for our listeners from what was that, Net, NextCon 4. You know, thanks for, for checking us out. And you can check us out on our website, talkingwithaddison.co. Anyway. Pardon me, puppy. I thought I was going to sneeze. But I think it's time. Yeah, it's time to skedaddle. It'll be fine, though. Let's close it up, okay? Okay. You ready? And I'm Addison. And I'm Anthony. And this was Talking with Addison. Yay!